Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. And we are going to take a second to look at something because I think it's really important. Now you may remember this from a video production we had called, So Are They Bones or Not? And we were showing two rows of what really looks like herbivore teeth and a missing snout from a possible skull. Now here's a one from Earth, that would be a horse. And here's a skull with a missing snout. And we also talked about this which appears to be attached to it, which the only thing we can figure that that would possibly be would be a bridle such as on this horse. Now that horse is on earth, of course. And one of the issues we face on this is this is the only mass cam image of this we've found so far. If anyone else can find one, please let us know. But we tried to throw some contrast filters just on these areas to see if this bridle keeps going. And you know, it quite possibly does. So at this point, I'm not going to say that's not what it is. When you look around the rest of this object, there's a lot of very unusual things protruding from it. Orifices. I believe it could have been here for tens of thousands of years. It's been covered in something. Plus, you have the obfuscation that's been done to it. But when you look at the entire object as a whole, it really looks like a skull, and I'm almost afraid of it. It's almost too good. But look at some of the other objects laying around. You know, I've said none of these are rocks. Look at that straight edge on that. That's not a rock, folks. That is something artificial. And this is just an example of some things that you could look at. Look at this one. It should be very obvious to you. You see that? And to the naysayers who just refuse to see this, I can't babysit you anymore. You know, you're going to have to wake up and smell the captain yourself. And in this NavCam mosaic, we can get a nice context view of this area. And folks, the outer parts of these wheels are 8.9 feet apart, okay? And there's people that argue this, but no, I've measured it and measured it and measured it. When you see it, you're looking at a little under nine feet apart. Now, there's a lot of strange things lying around on this surface. There's obfuscation going on, but you know, look at that. I don't know what that is. I mean, I wanna know what that is. We're gonna look at that again in a minute. Let's get out of there. We are looking for, voila. Now remember, I told you we don't have another mast cam image of this possible skull, but we have this. I found it. There it is. Now, on marsfam.net, we have this in 3D. You need to look at it. And there's nothing here that's making me say, no, it's not a skull. And there you see it compares to the mast cam image. That is it. Here's where we did some measurements. And this is really going to help us because the size of this object, this perceived skull, is that. Calibrated Martian Missy, her shoe is nine inches long. That object from the mandible to the base of the skull is under nine inches. And we measured some other objects so we can show you size as we go back. See Missy there and then back there, that is 50 yards away. And there's the measurements. As you can see, that object is 8.2 meters, 27 feet from the rover. And back there, that 0 0.5, 154 feet, 51 yards, 47 meters from the rover. So the mass cam image was from Seoul 732. This nav cam mosaic is from 731. And we've applied a filter here, contrast filter, because I want you to look in the background. This is several hundred yards back there. And that is where the water that I talk about would run. And now look up here on this 20 foot tall hill. Look at this. There are artificial structures up there, folks, all on the side of that. Now I'm saying it's 20 foot tall. I, I take it back. This could be 30. I could not measure it. They're normally 20 or 30. And I understand uh, the image is noisy. It's what we're dealing with, folks. This is the best I can get out of it. But I'm convinced that there's a lot of artificial stuff going on back there. And it may be old stuff still. It may not be active. Remember, they've really covered up this stuff. Mars is not just a bunch of red dirt at all. This is a complete farce. Now, here's that filter back down on our perceived skull again. And we want to look at just a few of these other odd objects now. You know, I have no idea what this stuff is, but um, just take a look at it. 
Here's our object that talked about looks so odd a while ago. There's some obfuscation on it. We can't make it out. Can't tell if it's metallic or not. And how big is it? Well, that's a 16 inch object right there. So that kind of gives you an idea. But down here, I want you to see this last, but certainly not least. Right down at the bottom of this image, something is it's coming out of the ground there. It's cut away and take a good look at that. It's very interesting. And you know how I've talked about the actual surface is not what we're seeing most of the time. You see that? You see that design work under there? I, I believe that's the actual surface and that cutaway area. You can see where the obfuscation starts. It's blurry, smudgy. That's what we're dealing with. The anomaly is the farce, the lie that they're putting upon us. We'll be back soon.